Also back at home, thousands of missing IRS emails have now been found. Federal investigators uncovering up to 30,000 emails belonging to Lois Lerner on disaster recovery tapes. But earlier in the year, the IRS chief telling Congress two years worth of emails were lost in a computer crash. That's a claim many just could not believe. You've asked us to believe that your very special experts couldn't save one piece of data from this, from this drive or one just like it, correct? That's what I was advised, yeah. My theory is this, Mr. Costin, you guys weren't ever going to tell us until we caught you. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel has been on this story all day. Longer than that, too. Mike, good morning. What more do we know about how these emails were recovered or discovered or whatever word they're using? Well, Bill, I'm told these emails were discovered in 744 disaster recovery tapes. Congressional investigators are anxious to get a look at the 30,000 emails to see who former official Lois Lerner was communicating with outside the IRS during that 2009 to 2011 time frame when the targeting of conservative groups was taking place. Lerner told lawmakers she did nothing wrong and defended her actions and has twice taken the fifth on Capitol Hill. Congressional sources say it is possible some of the 30,000 emails are duplicates, but since Lerner has refused to answer questions from Congress, there are multiple committees anxious to get a look at her communications. There's also some anger on Capitol Hill that five months after the IRS said those emails were gone forever, lawmakers find out that is not the case. Yeah, surprise, surprise. What's the IRS saying about the revelation, Mike? Well, Bill, an agency statement notes that Commissioner John Koskinen has said for some time he would be pleased if additional Lois Lerner emails from this time frame could be found. And, quote, the IRS has cooperated fully in this investigation, including providing TIGTA, the inspector general, last summer with the disaster recovery tapes that had been initially used during the hard drive gap period and then subsequently recycled, according to standard IRS procedure at the time. Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan says the IRS has continually dragged its feet, changed its story, and been less than forthcoming with information related to its egregious violation of Americans' First Amendment rights. Jordan continues calling for a special prosecutor to investigate the IRS. Well, more Bill? on that, too. Mike, thanks. Mike Emanuel from...